everyone, this is Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. Summer has crept away, autumn has officially begun. And in this transitional season, I have a few favorite things, but my actually most favorite thing is a waistcoat. So you can see that I'm wearing one today. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a few of my favorite waistcoats and how to wear them and what I wear with them and what the outfit combinations are. So stay tuned and I'm going to take you one by one and inserting the outfits that I've constructed into the video along the way. So please sit back, get yourself a cup of tea or maybe a coffee and then we can go through this together. So the pieces I'm going to use for my outfits. So let me go through the waistcoats first. This one is one from Zara, it's a black one. You can see there's some tie details on the side and it's quite long, but I'm going to insert pictures of these. The second one is this piece that I got from Japan and is a local boutique called a City Shop and uh, they have some really trendy things in the store. When I was there, because it was so hot in the summer, so I have to wear some tank tops, vest tops, so I didn't really feel confident to wear them on their own. So I bought this waistcoat. You can see there's a little zip, there's a cooler and the material is dark grey but with some patterns on it and the material is quite silky and this is made in Japan. This is one of the items that I brought back from Japan. The third one is a long line item. is from H&M. I got this a few years ago as an office wear but I still quite love it because it's a grey colour and the grey is the new black for this season so it's definitely coming back big and bold or not quite so bold but yeah it's such a versatile piece and it got pockets, got three buttons, it's fully lined, it's quite long, got a little vent at the back and it's a blazer collar with the lapels and you will see later in the outfits section that I have created quite a few different outfits with this waistcoat. The first undergarment is the white t-shirt that I'm wearing. You can use any white t-shirt or black t-shirt or whatever you have in your wardrobe. My motto with day-to-day -day wear is that buy less, wear more. When you there's a new trend season by season, just go into your wardrobe and search for an existing item and then re-wearing them. Maybe just add one or two more items for the season to update your look, but never really need to go out to buy such a big haul from all different brands and then and they probably end up in charity shops, landfill, so it's not really good for our purse and not also sustainable for the um, environment. So I always believe just buy less, wear more. You can see all of these pieces except the new one from Japan. These are all from four or five years ago. So I'm still wearing them season after season. They never really go out of fashion as such because they're classic pieces that last Ever. forever. And moving on, the next piece is this knitwear top. You know, I love stripes. This is quite thin, quite fine, because when you wear something underneath, you preferably not wear something too bulky with this transitional season and the days can be hotter during the day and the cooler in the evenings and early mornings. So fine knit is the best garment to wear underneath. The next one is a white shirt. I guess everyone has a white shirt, so I'm sure you can find one. <laughs> and maybe a blue shirt or like any shirt, any shade of blue or just wear something with your favourite colours. It doesn't have to be blue and uh, dressing up is fun. It doesn't have to be such a formula because I don't really want to look like someone else. But oh, with the season progresses, when it gets a little bit cooler and colder and this is polo neck knit burgundy colour and burgundy colour is one of the on-trend colours of this season. It's incredibly versatile, goes well with loads of colours, all neutral tones, black, white and grey especially, and chocolate brown, which is another on-trend colour for this season. And this one got a polo neck, keep us warm, and long sleeves, and it was from Uniqlo, a basic range, and Reno Wu and I bought this like $35.99, something like that. It's not expensive from Uniqlo. They still have them season after season. So yeah, they have the crew neck one, round neck, v-neck, so all sorts of different collar designs. I got this quite a few years back, so it's not a new. And on the 
bottom that this is just a long flowy grey trousers and wool and white leg so quite basic what? What? Another, another one key. is a pair of white leg jeans like a charcoal black and I'm sure we all have something similar yeah. and this is another pair of white leg jeans is you know blue but this is quite flowy I usually wear these in the summer but it just it happens that I still want to wear this tr in this transitional season from summer uh, into autumn or maybe early autumn. Mm -hmm. Bags mm -hmm. that I've used for my outfits are this is my latest favorite bag from AETA Atta from Japan. Watched my video review. You can give a watch, and uh, I've been using these quite a lot. You can see there's no logos. This tassel I got years, years ago. It's from Celine. It's such a good quality. You can see the tassels are so fine. So I thought I'd just attach that to the bag and add a little bit more fun. Another bag that I've used is this Louis Vuitton monogram. I think it's called a Tom Brain. And I got this quite a few years ago, before COVID, definitely and I use this in the winter more so than in the summer and this is actually a crossbody bag and uh, I've just wrapped around the strap and circle and made it into a little handheld bag so if you like to see a review of this bag please leave a comment down below I try to be a little bit fun for the younger goalies so I've did a couple of outfits wearing a baseball cap so yeah this is just a black baseball cap for shoes, I used a couple of pairs, but the most one that I have used is this pair of pointed toe backless pumps. You must have seen this quite a few times in my OOTD. This is a pair from Gucci that I bought from last year, and it's pointed toe. There's a shine to it. I'm not sure whether you can see it. So the material is a bit shiny, but I think it's lambskin. You see, I've, I've been wearing this quite a lot. The little details at the back have the GG on the heel. You can see the heel is not very high. Uh, it's about five, six centimeters. And uh, these are incredibly comfortable. I love the details is that the back is square. So you can see it's quite sharp. But sometimes when I walk around and there's two big clicks, you know, each other, but not very often, but I just really love this pair of shoes. They're incredibly comfortable and very understated and shows with everything that I normally wear. And Another pair of shoes that I've used is just a pair of trainers. I worn this quite a lot when I was in Japan. They're so comfortable. They take me walked so many steps <laughs> so that's all the garments are here and uh, if you like to know the details please leave a comment and if you want to know the exact item i can do some research for you where you can get something similar i'm more than happy to help so that's it for today thank you so much for uh, staying with me and i hope my video uh, is useful uh, for you to have some dressing up ideas for waistcoats and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and give my video a like and switch on that little bell button so you won't miss out any of my future videos and thank you so much see you next time bye